This design is a great example of what can be done in a very small area. This uh, area was, is actually situated below grade underneath a stairwell. And as you can see, it's only 46 and a half inches wide. It's actually a bit wider because of this little dog leg here. Uh, the depth of the room is 79 and a half inches. Here's the entry down below. Uh, and yet we managed to facilitate 410 bottles in this wine room. The client originally just wanted to use some kits, if you will, or, or uh, from our semi-custom series, which we offer at six, seven, and eight foot heights. But he also had some features that he wanted to include in the wine room to um, to enhance it, if you will. Um, and, and you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. Elevation A, B, C, and D will take a look at individually. Elevation A is the right side wall as you walk in and it is this is indeed the custom component that was created because he wanted a cigar humidor. This is a small cabinet has a lock. The bottom shelf is pitched at an angle much like the 15 degree pitch here for the wine bottles called the high, re high reveal display row. So this little pitch uh, kind of shows off cigar boxes and this top shelf is a, a tray for individual cigars. It's a kind of cradle, cradle there and are stored. This is a, a these humidors are lined with Spanish cedar, and the door frame uh, has a little bit of a weather stripping around it to keep them or to maintain a little bit higher temperature inside the humidor. So, if as you remember, elevation A is, was a custom component, and we've included two semi-custom components as well. Elevation B is the curved corner that makes the transition from the right side wall to the back wall. And note this is a true radius curved corner. We don't offer any angled or segmented effects, whether it be in my semi-custom series or from our, our, our full custom. They are all true radius. The moldings, the base molding, the crown molding at the top, and all of the horizontal spacer bars. Elevation C is the back wall across from the entry. Single bottle storage. And again, this is from the, the six-foot semi-custom series. The left side wall was a little bit of a challenge because of the <clears throat> the width of the wine room being as it was. Um, I created a six inch deep, as you can see from the side elevation here, six inch deep horizontal displays to uh, give us the ability to store additional bottles, in this case 45 more bottles, which are laying on their sides with full display. This is an overhead view of the wine room. On the left is the six inch deep horizontal display we just spoke of. The single bottle storage rack here in the curved corner are from the kit series, and this right side wall is the custom piece with the humidor on it. <clears throat> now, in the subsequent pictures I'm going to share with you, the installer did a great job modifying these racks on site. It's fairly common and fairly easy for an installer t to modify racks. And as you can see from this first picture, he did a wonderful job of. of cutting the vertical ladders or the vertical dividers if you will to the appropriate height to allow for the slope. This is a as I mentioned this job was created in an unfinished Malaysian mahogany. We applied a Sherwin-Williams rustic stain to the mahogany and then uh, applied a clear coat or a top coat lacquer finish on it to give it a bit more of a luster or a semi-glossy effect. On the left side wall is the horizontal displays that we discussed and this subsequent picture shows the humidor so that you're standing outside the wine room here looking in here's the uh, Spanish cedar line humidor the installer also modified the curved corner as you can see up here in the, in the right is a self-contained whisper cool system to keep the room to 65 oh, I'm sorry 55 to 60 degrees so all in all a great job a great install uh, in, in creating over 400 bottles for such a small area